Football has changed a lot over the years, but especially for goalkeepers, there's been a huge development since the position was formally introduced in 1871, where you could handle the ball all over the pitch, by the way. And today, we'll take a look at the evolution of the modern day keeper. The transition of the modern goalkeeper began in the 1950s with the legendary Hungarian team, which played a 4 2 4 formation where players constantly switched positions. Back then, keepers stayed in their goal, but goalkeeper Gula Grosic had to start moving off his line in order to close down the space that the system left open for counters. Also, because Hungary were a team who relied on possession and had one of the finest players ever in Fering Puskas, they wanted to keep the ball when possible and here, Grosic figured that rolling and throwing the ball out was safer than kicking and their style inspired Lev Yashin from Russia, amongst others, one of the finest keepers ever. Also, the idea of having a keeper who protects his defense by acting as an extra defender really appealed to Rhinus Mitchells and the total football playstyle that he employed with the Dutch national team in 1974. Here, Mitchells deemed that it was worth more to his team to have Jan Jongblut in goal compared to Jan van Beveren, because Jongblut was excellent at playing that extra sweeper who could get to the ball first and clear it, despite actually being the worst keeper of the two. One of Michel's students was the legendary Johan Cruyff, who went even further with his Ajax side in 1984. Here, he told goalkeeper Stanley Menso to go out there and take risks. Because with so many people moving forward in the Ajax team, Cruyff needed a player who could not only sweep up the long counter-attacks, but also actually take part in building the attacks. And okay, he was a major liability. But Cruyff and Menso actually set a trend that would change the game forever. Because all of this was back when goalkeepers could pick up back passes. But seeing how players such as René Higgeter would take an active part in playing with his insane dribbling raids, FIFA decided to make it illegal for goalkeepers to pick up back passes in 1992 because it slowed the game down too much and thus made a big hint that keepers now needed to be good with their feet. Of course, some keepers thought of themselves as strikers too, like Fabian Barthez and Jorge Campos, which led to some uh, questionable decisions from time to time, but it also bred keepers who were really calm on the ball. One of those keepers was Edwin van der Zaar. Because when Louis van Gaal took over Ajax, he thought that Menzo was making too many mistakes and opted for the tall, athletic van der Zaar, who was also great on the ball, but much calmer and had the ability to organize his defense. He really commanded his area, just like the GOAT Peter Schmeichel and Oliver Kahn, by the way, and the latter two were particularly impressive in one-on-one -on -one situations as well. All of them, however, were comfortable with the ball at their feet, which meant a lot. But ball-playing keepers became more and more popular, and with the emergence of Manuel Neuer as a prolific sweeper keeper, you can really see how the game changed. Neuer has the technique and positional awareness of an outfield player, but just like Schmeichel, he's got excellent handling and commands his box by simply being physically imposing. But you don't need to be the best shot stopper in the world though, as seen with Victor Valdez as Barcelona, whose playing style fit the Spanish keeper perfectly, using his excellent distribution and high starting position to almost become another outfield player for Barcelona, who could occasionally also use his hands. And today we see that trend even more clearly, because just like at Barcelona, Pep Guardiola wanted a keeper who's good with his feet. And while Claudio Bravo is great, he's not the best at playing out from the back. So Pep got Ederson in, who was just as good at pinging 50 meter diagonal passes as he is over 5 meters. The same goes for Alisson and Mark andre Ter Stegen, who are all keepers that take an active part in the tactics and can keep possession even under pressure. But it's not all about having playmaker levels of passing techers. Because if we look at Jan Oblak and David De Gea, they can definitely play, but not to the same level. But because especially Atletico Madrid's tactics are more defensively minded and not as focused on constantly having the ball, Oblak's insane reactions and positioning is much better suited to a team who isn't as much in possession.
Of course, we've just scratched the surface here, guys, but that was a quick overview of how goalkeepers have evolved into the ball-playing living walls that they are today. But who's actually the best goalie right now? Let us know down below, and then go and grab your new goalkeeper gloves from the link to your left. And also, don't forget to go subscribe before you bounce. And with that said, I'm signing off. Cheerio.